Holy cow. So much to break down on this one. This is, this is insane. Um, okay. One hint I said was if you replace all those one halves with X's, it should look pretty familiar. So oh, what kind of an M is that? Sorry. Um, H approach is zero. So I'm going to replace that with an X. I said, just because we're still learning this, you'll hopefully see the pattern here a little bit. That's embarrassing. Um, you guess you don't really need parentheses there. And then we're dividing it by H here. Okay. Hopefully you see that all this means is the derivative of eight X to the eighth. Okay. One way of looking at this too is, is this thing right here is the f of x. Okay, remember it's f of x plus h minus f of x. So that's your f of x right there. So you're doing the derivative of that, technically. Well, what is the derivative of 8x to the eighth? Can someone help me out here? You bring 64x to the seventh, very good. So you bring the eight down, eight times eight is 64, you minus one from the power, okay? If you wanted, you can break down that whole limit. It's gonna take you a year because it's, you know, X plus H to the eighth, that would just take forever. Even if you use Pascal's triangle, it's still annoying. Way easier to just do this. Okay, well, the X is actually equal to one half. If you look at the original problem, the X is equal to one half. So what you need to do is replace that X with one half. To the seven. So in a way, you're just taking 64 and dividing it by two seven times. Okay. So if you do that, um, I mean, let's just let's just do a countdown here, because you might be thinking, how am I supposed to do this? This is crazy. Just uh, just keep dividing it by two. So if you divide it by two once, that's supposed to be a 32. So um, that's once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times. There's your answer.